It also takes a village here at the Paris Landing area of Kentucky Lake, where various groups are intent on making sure the aquatic wildlife is happy and healthy. Their eco-health checks make sure this popular fishing spot stays that way. What are we doing out here? This is part of our annual monitoring that we do for our uh, Reservoir Fish Assemblage Index. We work on 49 reservoirs throughout the southeast, and uh, we collect all the fish that we can. We'll weigh and measure them and record the information, and then we go to the same sites every time we come out here. So we've been collecting data here for 20 plus years, and by doing so, we can look at the long-term averages, tell how the fish community is uh, reacting to environmental changes, and then we work with other agencies, other state biologists. It helps them make management decisions that they make, and it gives us a good indication as to how the fishery's doing. So this is really important what you're doing, right? Absolutely, yeah. we wanna have the smallest footprint that we can when it comes to the fisheries. Cool, so we're not hurting the fish, right? No, we use uh, electricity to temporarily stun the fish. Okay. So the way this whole process works, we have a generator back here. Mm -hmm. The generator provides electrical current. It leaves from the generator, it'll travel out these poles and the poles will hang off, the, the rakers will hang off into the water. Okay. So they act as the anode, the bottom of the boat acts as the cathode and it creates an electrical field. So the fish, their muscles tense up and they float to the water surface and uh, then we'll have someone collect the fish in a net. They bring it back here and we weigh and measure the fish. We check it for disease and parasites and then uh, we return it shortly after that. It takes anywhere from a few seconds to a couple minutes before they recover fully. You have to you have your foot on the pedal before electricity is going to the water. Okay. Okay, so this is like a safety switch. So if by chance somebody falls overboard, mm -hmm. then it breaks that that circuit, and so the electricity will turn off. Oh, okay. So go ahead and step on the pedal there. There you go. Look oh. at all of those fish up here. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a bluegill and a warmouth, sunfish. Both of those are in the sunfish family. Ah. Okay. Nice. Flip it over. There you go. It's a forearm workout. Yeah. <laughs> so these are three of the common sunfish species that we get here. So we got a bluegill sunfish, a long ear, and then also a warm mouth. When we're collecting these fish, we want to see multiple year classes of fish represented. So you know you've got a successful spawn and recruitment going on. Let's get us some more here. There's some other ones right here. There's another one. There you go. There you go. You got it. Yeah, yeah. You've already got it now. You got the depth down. Oh, I missed. It's not quite like flipping pancakes. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> so we enter the abiotic data here on this page, such as the habitat, secondary habitat, water temperature, and then at the end of this, we'll give a time on there. So we quantify this by distance and time, so we get a catch per unit of effort. Help me out here, Greg, with the CPU. Yeah, free. catch per unit effort. Um, so basically the number of fish in like a certain distance of shoreline. Mm -hmm. So if we got say 50 fish in that little section over here, mm -hmm. and then we got 50 fish from here all the way to there, you would know there's a different density of fish in a certain area. Mm -hmm. So there's a high density in this area and, and a, a smaller, a smaller density, density yeah. in that. Okay. So that's how we can standardize. So you guys normally just like tag team it together? Like you'll go out together and um, do it? Or? Yeah, we have a crew of four okay. that'll go out. So mm -hmm. this this is like a production line when we're actually sampling because oh, okay. we're out here eight, nine hours a day. So they're pretty What kind neat. of fish is that? This sucker? is a spotted sucker. Can they live on it? the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. They live on the bottom. Their mouth is very turned down like that. So oh, that kind of wow. tells you where they live in the reservoir. Mm -hmm. And when we put him in the water, he'll color up a little bit more and those, mm -hmm. those spots will become a little more evident. Okay, um, so what we'll do, I'll let you enter these fish okay. on this, and I will, I'll do the weighing and measuring. Right now, we're on largemouth bass. So I just click on that. Mm-hmm. So it is uh, 244. So just hit 244, and then okay. hit record. Whoa. Yeah. I caught that? Yeah, you did. Did I really? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, I promise you dipped that earlier. <laughs> yeah. I dipped that? Yeah, well, this is the first, first one. Really? You caught, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I saved him for you. So he is 491. Length 491. Uh-huh. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back now. OK. Pretty cool, huh? That was cool. When I go home and tell them what I did, how can I like break it down in layman's terms? The important message is you can tell a lot about what's going on based on how the fish community react. That's awesome.
if somebody wanted to get into this, how do they go about doing that? There's a lot of different agencies and, and organizations that, that do the same kind of work that we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer. That's so cool. I love it. Do what you love and love what you do, right? Yeah, it's pretty rewarding. We get to do a lot of outreach. We get to work in the rain. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I want to go again. I want to catch more fish. Yeah, I want to collect more fish. There you yeah. go. Right? Yeah, there you go. Right. Holy moly. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's a uh, big mouth buffalo. <laughs> That's crazy. Pretty neat fish. That's big. So when you get this, you're, you're part of the big river gang. Look at him. He's puffing at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so put your hand underneath it there, and then grab it here on the tail. Don't drop it. Oh. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> now look at now look at your gloves. Oh. 